Hello. The fear of blood tends to create fear for the flesh. I found a baby in the cemetery, honey. That's cool. Er, I dreamed about rain. I have a paper hat. I look very creepy. All these characters are saying that we can't hear them. But hey Blaze and hey Asian Sleepy, welcome to Silent Hill. Epic opening. They're kind of giving you glimpses of scenes we're going to see. Which I'm not the biggest fan of because it kind of spoils. But at the same time it feels like you're supposed to watch the opening, right? Is that a mummy or is that just a heavily bandaged woman? Maybe a little of both. I think that um, lady, police lady's name is Sybil. I don't know why I remember that. This part sounds like 007, doesn't it? That's what I thought, like, you don't see him driving in the opening, right? I mean, like, at the start of the game. Or maybe you do. So, this is the only Silent Hill game I've ever played. And this was over 10 years ago. Over 10 years ago. Um, and I only played through it once. And, um, I remember it being pretty tricky. It was the first time I ever played, uh, Silent Hill, but it was fun. Harry Mason, right. All right, so here we go. Silent Hill. That instant. I always check that when I start a game up. Does the game have instant, uh, input? Is there no input delay? And there isn't, so that's good. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a funny story. Maybe I should get into the game first, and then I'll tell you a funny story with uh, my first experience with this game. So we're going to do normal, of course. Silent Hill. Yeah, it starts with the car crash. That's what I thought. So that is, you do kind of want to watch that intro even though it's spliced with scenes that you're going to see later. It didn't seem like they really spoiled much at least. I don't know, there's something about his just... He walked away so casually, he's like, huh. I guess I'm here now. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Cheryl. Okay. Okay, cool. I set it up right. I can use the D-pad or the joystick whenever I want. Hey, look, you run like you would in Resident Evil. They got that right. They got it right. Even Silent Hill had the same gameplay. Square to run. X for inter for uh, interacting or shooting. I don't have the map for this place. See, even Silent Hill was doing it. It was RE5 that went and ruined everything by swapping the run and the action button. Uh, footsteps. Yeah, that's our footsteps. I guess he sees footsteps that we can't see. Hey, it's the little girl from the opening. It's not raining so heavily. Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? Sure, does Cheryl look like that? 
I know Cheryl's his daughter, right? He's trying to find Where his daughter. Where are you daughter. going? Hey, wait! Stop! I give up. I'll never find my daughter. Oh, never mind. So he doesn't have a quick turn, but he has a leap back, which is the same input as a quick turn. Right, there's a side, side step as well. Very, um... Lumbering movements here, which is not too out of place for an old classic survival horror game. Um, she was a little girl and it's foggy, I can understand the confusion. I mean, I could see that she was wearing like a checkered blue dress. So it's like, no parking at any time. Algernon, is that a reference to flowers for Algernon? Alright, so my funny story. So, where I played this was at my friend's house, on his PS3. He had the PS1 disc of this game. Um, and I was like, oh, I want to play that. I've never played it before. And so, he never really played it either. So it's not like he could like give me any tips or anything. Um, anyway, his disc was messed up, I guess. Or I don't know if it was something to do with playing it on the PS3. I don't know. But basically, anytime you would fire a gun in the game, it would, the audio would glitch, and you would just hear like a burn noise. So you would just hear like a horrible ear splitting noise, depending on what gun you used last. Each gun would have a different like and it would just keep going. Even if you pause the game, no matter what, it would keep going. And I found one trick. I found the trick to making the noise stop. And you had to like have a certain melee weapon and swing it and the swing of the melee weapon noise would override the glitched gunshot noise and it would go away so i had to make sure that i had that melee weapon on me at all times so i could make the uh the noise go away so i mean if anything at least we don't have to deal with that you know what playing this right now after doing the haunted ps1 demo disc not that long ago Pretty authentic. This almost looks like a real PS1 game. It's, it's pretty close, you know, I can see some obvious flaws that uh, show that this is a modern title, but, you know, they did a good job. Girls, let you? It's me, Dada. I remember using guns quite often, actually. Uh-oh. What the? What is this? I hope it's not Chris's blood. I hope it's not Cheryl's blood. Let me just sit down and analyze it for 10 minutes. Oh, wow, look at that. You have a um, uh, dynamic camera movement, which the earlier Resident Evil games did not have. Well, the first Resident Evil spe especially, specifically, just had completely static cameras. So there's the swinging camera, like it's got, it gives it a very different feel. dark. That's strange, it's getting darker, almost as if the time of day is falling. Are you going to play that really rancid PS3 re remake next? I don't know anything about that. Oh, we have a lighter. Wow, in Resident Evil you wouldn't get a lighter until Code Veronica. I think. Dude, there's alarms going off, like a weather alarm. This is really sick, actually, the camera. Like, I don't remember uh, it being like that. It's it's working really well. Like, the, the direction of um, how it's moving, it's not... It, it's, it's giving a very good effect. And the music. Very unsettling. 
Very well done so far. I remember enjoying this game, but I do not remember the specifics of stuff like this. I also didn't get one of the better endings. If I remember correctly... Okay, hang on, maybe we should focus on this blood first. All these noises and stuff. This is getting pretty intense. What is this? What's going on here? He already said those exact lines earlier. What's this doing here? Oh, oh, God. oh what the? Holy crap! I didn't even notice those guys were right there. I was about to jokingly uh, back up. Okay, I forgot about these little guys. Holy crap. Blocked by a fence. This fence wasn't here last time. Uh oh. Okay, I think you're supposed to die. That's, um. That's very. Obviously, that was a nightmare. Let's be honest, guys. I cut it up in real. Right, and we wake up in a diner. I remember this. Pre rendered cutscenes. Sybil, right? That's her name. Only name I remember other than Harry Mason. Harry Mason Jar. Was I dreaming? I hope so. How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm all right. Yo, I love that signature awkward, like Glad to hear it. artificial human voice you acting. You tell me what happened. Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. One. I'd like to find out myself. Likely Have story. you seen a little girl? Just would... turned seven last month. Short, black hair. That would have been the first thing I would have said as a father. <laughs> Where's my daughter? Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Really? What are you Where doing is here? everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell... Something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? My name? Harry. Harry Potter. Harry Mason. I mean Mason. I'm a Mason. Sybil Bennett. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. Phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. A Cheryl button. I've never hmm. played Vagrant Story or uh, Mega Man Legends either, so maybe we'll have to do that eventually. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. My daughter. No way. No way. It's just an empty town. It's dangerous out there. Uh huh. And what's so In that dangerous? Case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Why would I need a gun? Um, no. Take this and hope you don't have to use it. She didn't explain what's dangerous. She didn't say like, oh, there's now like listen to me. Violent people, there's monsters. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. You haven't explained anything to Harry, ma'am. And don't do it unless you have to. You have to and conserve don't ammo. Me by mistake. <laughs> yeah. Go blast. Got it? Yeah. Thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. She also hasn't explained that, like, she doesn't have- does she have a car? Does she have her police car? If so, the first thing I would do is be like, okay, sir, I'm gonna go ahead and drop you off from the town over. And then I'll, I'll uh, 
Pinball machine, nothing unusual. Someday someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they will find my notes useful. Save spot? That's right. Sound effects when you save feel weird. It doesn't. It feels like a backing out, but a uh, sound effect rather than a uh, confirmed sound effect. Health drink. They couldn't do herbs, you know. So and a flashlight. It's like a miner's flashlight. And a map. We got hooked up all in this one spot. Oh, oh, hang on. Did you see that? Was it? Was I supposed to walk away? I feel like we saw a pterodactyl behind us, but then I uh, I moved out of the way. But that might have just been the camera was going to cut away anyways. Knife. More health drink. Kitchen knife. Okay, we're getting to hang on to the kitchen knife just, you know, for when the, the gunshot sound glitch starts occurring, we can swing the kitchen knife and make it go away. Radio's broken. Didn't see anything. Oh, she was driving a motorcycle? Well, you can, uh, two people could ride a, one motorcycle. I mean, there might be some motorcycles out there where it's not designed for more than one person, but I feel like, I feel like a police motorcycle could allow for another person. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, oh yeah, so what I was saying is when I played this, I found out I looked afterwards like what type of ending, like I didn't look at what the endings were, but I saw like what the types of endings were. And apparently there's good plus, good minus, bad plus, bad minus. And I think I actually got the bad plus ending. So it was like kind of good, kind of bad. Um, Cause I think there's two different things that can happen that decides if you get a good and a plus, or a bad and a minus, so I, ha I had the bad plus. Um, which I think also affected my final boss fight. Because my final boss fight was with, um, how do I look at my items? Oh, now the radio's going. What's that? The radio. Huh. This radio. is, what's this doing here? What's going on with that radio? Hey, it's that dog. Uh... Well, there it is, but how do I... What are my items? Here's the map. Does anyone know a button to go to the items? Because it's not... Oh, select, huh? There we go. Uh, receiver civil... Hard to use, but better than nothing. Alright, um, dang, I would have practiced first if I knew this was going to happen. Aim? How do I aim? There we go. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? This is not, yeah, or this is not a dream. I agree. Let's take this radio with us just in case. All right, so we took some damage, unfortunately, but uh, now we know. Yeah, it's R2, which, um, yeah, I was trying L1, R1 at first, but those are the side steps, obviously. All right. Ooh, I'm hurt. Recovers a small amount of stamina. I feel like I might want to save this. I don't know. Let's just go save. Anyway, what I was saying was... My final boss fight was with like an angelic figure. I don't remember the exact story that led to that, but there was like this angel... And that was my final boss. And I thought it was really interesting because the game is so full of these like monstrous demonic creatures and then the final boss was an angel. Um, but then I found out later, apparently depending on what you do, you can end up fighting like a demonic final boss instead. 
right? And I don't know if like one is the one you're supposed to fight and one is, I don't know if there's like an actual, you know, difference in that sense. Um, but I thought, I don't know, I thought it was, I thought it was more interesting that I fought an angel though, just because of like the contrast of that with all the other enemies, but I wouldn't mind, like, I don't have a strong preference to what I do, but if you, you guys think I should do something, then let me know and I can try to do that. I think it was like I saved one character that could have died, but then another character I didn't save. And that's why I got bad plus, something like that. So if I could save both of them, I assume that that would be better. Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again. You mean the one we checked in our in our nightmare? Can we go to Queen Burger? That's totally like a Burger King reference, right? I like how he just assumes that Cheryl's in the in the dream alley, just by default. Hang on a second. Ammo. I like that handgun handgun bullets are always red. I don't know if that's a real life thing, but like, this is helpful in like Resident Evil where it's like, if I see a red box, it's like, oh, that's handgun ammo. Unless you're playing RE2 remake, uh, B route Leon specifically, where there's two different types of handgun ammo. I still swear I've never played a Resident Evil game where that happens. Definitely tons of different types of handguns, but never where there's two separate bullet types that you can't use with both guns. So this was kind of a genius thing, right? Where the draw distance was limited so down, but they they, they utilized... Most, most games would be like, okay, the draw distance is a limitation, but in this game, they use draw distance as part of the atmosphere, as in that there's such a dense fog. Oh, the ringing, that means something. That's the radio we're holding, right? That tells you there's like an enemy nearby? I think I remember that. Um... Wait, where's my gun at? Okay, um... Reload. Ooh, reload from here? Hell yeah, just reload in the menu. Getting good plus is kind of a hassle if you don't know the map. Yeah, I definitely... Okay, where's this guy at? The yeah, auto aims, which is uh missed a few shots though. There we go. Uh, um Correct me if I'm wrong, but you probably mostly want to use your gun on those things, right? Like I feel like the knife would be a last resort for a lot of enemies. Unless they're like really slow enemies that you know you can Another one? I like I want to waste all my ammo. Uh oh. You can stomp enemies when they fall down? How do you do that? Oh, I'm in red. Oh, my guy was not showing any signs of being hurt, so I wasn't, uh. Okay, let's. Kill. The good ending is closest to canon, but none of them line up exactly. Just like RE1. Click action on them when they're down. I never knew that. I don't think I, I knew that when I played before. Wow. Oh my god, that kick. That was almost worse than a stomp. I feel like I'm running low on ammo already. Uh, maybe not. I don't think I want to risk. 
Oh, that's so brutal. I was about to say, at least they're skinless monster dogs, but I mean, at least they're hairless monster dogs. So they don't look quite like you're just picking a, a dog. Wait a minute, this looks familiar. He's not gonna comment on it? Okay. He's like, big deal, I saw this in my dream. And it's not even dark this time. You know what's funny? I'm actually using the D-pad. The D-pad just, for some reason, is feeling better to me. Oh, ammo. To school. Is it the Cheryl sketchbook? Written in blood. Hmm. She's at the school. He just accepts it. Like a hockey stick. It's a hockey pipe. The weapon I believe the, the melee weapons can break over time, right? I feel like I remember having to find another one to stop the gunshot sound effect. Sketchbook cover, this picture, it's me. That's you? Yeah, it looks just like you. The first picture that Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave on her fifth birthday. What, you're just gonna leave it on the floor? You're not gonna pick up your daughter's sketchbook? What if that's all you have to remember her by? Oh, they don't break in this game. Is there an inventory um, limit? Or can you just hold as much stuff as you want? Silent Hill dungeon crawler, huh? Oh, I actually hit the wall. A nice detail. Let me do it again. Yeah, that's actually a really nice detail to add in a, a game as old as this. Think of how many games where you just would keep running against the wall. Alright, so... Let's see here. You want to go to the school? That is pretty far off. Pretty far out, man. Okay, so... Right. Okay, we're gonna make a left on the big street and then go down to the end corner and then make a another left and then go all the way to the bottom. There it is. Look, you just got a zigzag. He's got a zigzag. He just got a zig. He just got a zag. Oh man, another one showed up. That's not good. Hang on, am I? In... Yeah. Okay, no, another. I gotta keep going straight. Wait, the radio Oh, I knew it. I had a feeling in my head, like, I, I feel like I remember not being able to go certain ways. Because the whole street's just gone. But the thing is, I thought the radio warned you when enemies were nearby. I didn't realize that you actually wanted to turn off the radio. Also, how's my health doing? Yeah, we're still in orange. I, could, I should probably just take the health right now just to be safe, but... Oh god! Why did I go towards that? I thought it was like an object of interest. Also, I had no context for what type of, type of enemies were going to be in this game. So when the first thing I saw was a freaking pterodactyl, I was like, what, what, is, what is going on here? So I'm gonna want to make a right. Um, farther. 
if I did it. I said I had another dead end. Yep, well, to the devil. Look it, this game is putting X's where there's dead ends. That's, that's exactly what I like. This game's doing a lot of stuff good already. Oh, did that? Okay, was it just me or did that a dog ap appear out of thin air? I need to rewatch that on my replay. Yeah, no, that a dog. That dog just like, just uh, manifested itself out of thin air. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, camera just messed me up. Okay, so it's way. Okay, yeah. That's way. Another dead end. So many dead ends. Doghouse, Levin Street. Who's leaving these notes? I'll pick the bloodied... I'll pick up the bloody note that says Doghouse on it that's really easy to remember, but I'll leave my, my pre daughter's precious sketchbook behind. I guess we don't want to read these ones. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Uh, guess we had another dead end. Um, well, we should check to see if Devon Street is near. Are you supposed to not be able to read? <laughs> The smaller text. I don't see a Devon Street. Penny Street. Oh, Levin Street. Okay, so we can just go left from here and go into the doghouse on Levin Street. Can I look at your doghouse? I fell down. <laughs> yeah, he can't get rid of his kitchen knife. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Is there actually inventory uh, capacity? Sorry, like a limited inventory capacity. Doesn't like it. Am I still on Levin Street? 
Yeah, we're on Lemon Street. It might be on the other side. I feel like we need to get into somebody's backyard. What does that say? Bookstore? Leave me alone. I mean, I don't have to check every hot front door, right? To find like a... Oh, that might be the doghouse right there, actually. Don't get off! I'm an expert. Give me, uh, still getting used to. Oh, get out of here! Darn, whatever you are. Pterodactyl. Kick it! Screech like a bat. Alright, here's the doghouse. House key! Who hides a house key in a doghouse? I like the dog. I like do something with it. Man bat wannabes. Oh, first aid kit, nice. How are we doing on health? Safe spot. Yeah, so far, like, the only detail that's really, like, blatantly missing in this is, like, the physical sign that you're hurt. But I actually, if I remember correctly, the original PS1 Resident Evil 1 might not have done that either. I think it might have just... That. I don't think that that was something that was added until maybe RE2. I could be wrong, though. Finding plenty of ammo, so that's good. That was another thing I remember when I was fighting the boss. Um, might as well drink one of these now. I was so low on ammo for a while. I wasn't even sure if I could beat the boss. Like I thought maybe I didn't have enough ammo to beat it. But it turns out I had just enough. I just had to like deal the damage. Like, exactly. Keys for a clip. Something is written on the map hanging on the wall. So there's a line going down the side street to Queen Burger. There's a circle around the corner on Elroy Street next to Ghoul. I don't know why there's a place just called Ghoul. Ghoul School. And there's a Arrow pointing down the big main street on the other side of Elroy Street. Okay. Oh, we just copied it onto our map. Did we? Did we also use blood? Yeah. Harry is kind of a psycho. He used actual blood. Three locks. So this is the inside. Of, oh no, this must be like a basement or something. If you find all three keys... You unlock the super secret. TV set power must be how it doesn't work. You actually tried it. A freaking huge... Uh, TV. I guess a lot of CRTs were that size though. Harry keeps his handy dandy magic marker on him at all times. They should make a comment like, Hmm, this green herb, imagine if I ate that, that would be dumb. I thought I tried to walk through the back door and it was locked, it had the three locks on it. 
Is that not the back door? There's three locks on it. I don't even have one key, let alone three key. I had one key, but I used it like immediately. Okay, so... I think you should wipe off the thing that says Cheryl on it, because we've confirmed that Cheryl is not there. Um... I guess we'll check the Queen Burger Alley. The gun is the ultimate key. Don't want you to miss the good ending this time and was rushing. I see, I see. Let's take this dog. I don't want to risk it. Sorry, dog. Okay, that time he did stomp. I wonder if I should be using melee. I, I hope I'm not using up too much ammo. And then once again, sorry, let me get my sense of direction. Okay, so from here we just make a left and then keep going straight for a while. We wouldn't want to lose our way. Something loaded in. Whenever you get that tiny little... Isaac Clark would be proud. Um, is that the guy from Dead Space? Isaac? Down the alleyway, next to there she is, Queen Burger. Have it your way, and a health drink on the house. Damn, that's a big ass queen burger. Okay, so down this way there's supposed to be something. This just looks like the alleyway that we lost that we were looking for Cheryl. Okay, this is the right way. Supposedly. Did I miss something? I need to like look more thoroughly. Oh, what is that? Oh, the stomping is... Okay. I see what you're referring to. There's a fence? This? It's a tall fence. I'll tell you what. There's actually many fences in here now that I'm around. Hey, it's that fence. There's a wire fence. Wire fence, wire. Wire fence, this. Off limits, let's go into the place that says off limits. Dude, we were breathing because we were running so much. Uh-oh. A dog's head. Someone who's playing basketball, the dog's head, that's pretty unchill. Oh, a key. It's one of the three keys, huh? Key of Woodman. We didn't even need to analyze it to get that information. Man bat can't fly over the fence. Must be some like something to do with magnet electromagnetism, that's my guess. Okay, 
so we are closer to the arrow, but I imagine the arrow would take us somewhere that will be kind of tricky to come back. I don't know. Let's check it out. It's probably just going to be a dead end anyways. Mason. I am a Freemason. Get away from me! No! We're still going. Oh, I guess it's. Dead end, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, is that her car? Someone else's car? I'll have to fight you in a second. You know what? I found... Oh, there's two of them. That's not good. Sick. Oh, you're trying to hit me now? Where you at, boy? Where you at, boy? The way I was aiming, it didn't look like I was pointing at anything. Oh. Probably gonna want to heal after this. of those ready to go. Um, uh, this is, we're doing good on ammo so far. Magnets inherently produce an anti-man bat field. I can confirm this as a phys physicist. Should have known. For more ammo. Oh, that's the second key. Two keys. Ah, ah, ah. Lion. This town must have got quaked real good. We just have that one more spot to check out. Or I assume the third key. I mean, we haven't been to the school yet, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. It's on the other side of the map, so we'll, we'll do that after this. Try to melee this one for once. Oh, this is failing so far. Oh my gosh. Like breaking its limbs and stuff. I think I already broke something. Okay. Had a little trouble at first, but once we got that first hit in, he was just like not having it. He was like, I'm out. Hmm. Uh, hey Fizz, what's up? It worked for the next hour, 40 minutes. Great hearing this in the background. Well, don't uh, worry if you gotta save your phone data or anything. You, you know, I'll, I'll be continuing this game, I'm pretty sure, until I, I beat it, which will probably take at least a few streams, I imagine. I'm sure you'll, you'll be able to catch me at some point. All right, there's something in this area we haven't gotten yet, so we need to, we need to look around carefully. How far is this out? Oh, okay. Too far out.
Okay, there's the dead end. Blood. Probably my blood. Oh, was I supposed to go in here? No. Oh! The Brit. I your first diner. Okay, that's it. That's it. You're getting it. Did I get it? Oh! There he is. What the heck? That second shot was really... Like... Oh! <laughs> okay, he fell into the abyss. All is well. He have Scarecrow. There's a free health drink. Always a fan of those. Alright, down. Oh, hold down action for heavy attack. Ah, I should practice that. Ever saw the first Silent Hill movie? Maybe like a long time ago. I don't really remember anything about it. Nice persona. I don't, I'm not sure what you're referring to there. Is Harry Mason my persona? Ah. Uh, okay, I see. Whoops, wrong button. Alright, well we have all the three keys, so now we can go back to that house on Levin Street, I imagine, and, and open the, whatever that door leads to. So far, so good. Yeah, this is so different from, like, classic Resident Evil because you're, like, walking these, uh, these, these vacant city street, not city streets, just like this town. If you do heavy attack plus push forward, you'll do a stab move. Ah, that does sound helpful. Oh, there's two. Should be coming up to that doghouse house. Should be. Am I going the right way? Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Oh, it's on the other side of the street. Okay. There she is. Luckily, I'm pretty sure that that school will be void of kids. Right. I like how the safe spot is referred to as the doghouse. All right, here we go. Use the key of lion. Use the key of woodman. And all this is a reference to Wizard of Oz, right? And then the the key of Scarecrow. It's unlocked. The the original books of the uh, Wizard of Oz. That's why it's a woodman and not a tin man. Don't you know? It's the original books. Don't you know? There's like actually like a bunch of um. Oh, it's dark now. It's getting darker again. What's going on? Does it? Darkness doesn't exist. Um, I like how just on his chest, I don't know why, it's just funny to me. It's like he has a really shiny badge. More health. But yeah, the, there's actually a huge anthology of Wizard of Oz books that goes way beyond the first book, which is what the, the movie's based on. And, um... Like, it's super big. 
and it gets pretty dark and crazy. They've actually did a Return to Oz movie, which is based on the second book, I believe. But that one's not really as well known, and it was came out a lot, like a lot later. Sybil gave him her badge as well as the gun. Here, use this. Now I know that there's like flat, like flashlights that are supposed to do that. It's just, it's just funny to me. I don't know. Just looking at him, just what's going on? Darkness, and he has like a, a big shiny badge, walking around. Good thing that gold star the teacher gave me is so shiny. Something loaded in. Yeah, there's uh, one of the darker characters in the... Whoops. In the later Wizard of Oz story. Why am I using this? I should just use the gun. Um... It's like this mad queen who like she like uses a different head. If I, I'm trying to remember, or, or she she puts her head on different bodies, or she uses different heads on her body. I forget which way it is. And, and she like steals people's heads because she wants to use them for her bot. For is that what it is? Or she steals their bodies? It's one or the other, but it's pretty it's pretty messed up. Uh oh. That's not good. Huh. One of those put me from uh, red to green. That's kind of a happy surprise. Oh, you're not invincible while you're kicking. Should have known. There was that flying. Get out of here with your flying. You'll never fly in this town again. <laughs> to school. Written in Cheryl's hand. Really? That's Cheryl's handwriting? Would you even have handwriting at that age? Like, you're still learning how to write. Maybe you would. I don't know. I've always had sloppy handwriting myself. Let's see, where am I trying to go exactly? Oh, now I can get to the school. Because we, we cut through that person's backyard. Do we just go this way? Um, what wouldn't it be as consistent? Oh, whoops, I went the wrong way for the dummy. So we want to look at it for it on the right side. It's so unsettling that it's like the ringing coming from the radio that informs you when there's uh, enemies nearby. Oh, this is locked. That's wonderful. Okay. Maybe there's another entrance. Oh, a young child's handwriting. Yeah. Because there's still, like getting better at the letters. Just looking here for objects. Midwich Elementary School. Is that like a middle wife except a midwitch? I'm just gonna try to expertly dodge these dogs. Cause I'm a pro, I'm a speedrunner. I've been playing this game for years, you know. Look at that map. I will take the school map, thank you. Oh look, it's a map of the United States. Wouldn't it be funny if just like 
Florida or like Ohio was just missing off the map. That'd be funny. Wait, what state does this uh, town take place in? Do they ever confirm that? It says he's from out of town. It's in Maine? Okay. Maine-esque. Now, if I remember correctly, you enter these buildings, and they look normal at first. And then you enter, like, the Rust Dimension version of, of the same building. And that's when things get... That's when... That's when things really start happening. More Ronaldo, Gordon. This must be a list of teachers. More Ronaldo, Gordon. Bueller. Wait a minute. This letter's all bloody and it's in Cheryl's handwriting. My daughter, daughter a murderer? It's written in blood. 10 a.m. Alchemy Laboratory. Gold is an old man's palm. Sorry, gold in an old man's palm. The future hidden in his fist. Exchange for Sage's water. Gold in an old man's palm. I hope we pick this up, of course we didn't. So we're gonna have to remember this then. <laughs> yeah, things are gonna get hairy, all right. Okay, palm. Feature is hidden in his fist, exchange for Sage's water, all right. It's written in blood. A place with songs and sound, and this is 12 p.m., this is noon. Silver guidepost is untapped and lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. Written in blood. 5 a.m. RP a.m. I guess. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon. Okay. Open time's door. What did this one say again? I completely... We're probably gonna have to come back and read these again because I'm not gonna remember all that. Japanese developers trying to create an American setting might be one of my favorite things in games. The little inconsistencies. Picture of a door. There's like two bodies hanging next to it. I don't know who drew it, but it's certainly in bad taste. Well, that's not very nice of you. They tried hard for that painting. Why are there just handgun bullets laying around in here? And what is this room? Is it just like a teacher's lounge? It's a very like basic thing, isn't it? The receptionist has a question mark on it. Oh, they, um, right, because of the, uh... Yeah, let's check out the infirmary before we leave this area. That's how America is, just handgun bullets everywhere. That's what Japan thinks of us. Is this the infirmary? No. Complete wrong side. This would be the I wonder that they have an infirmary in the elementary school. I know there's like a nurse's office and there might be like a bed or something sometimes for like if a kid's feeling sick and they're waiting to get picked up. But just a straight up infirmary. Health drink. Who would have known I'd find that in here? There's also shaving cream up there. Either that or whipped cream, but I don't know. What, what you're more likely to run into in uh, an infirmary and in an elementary school. We 
may now move on to the next area. Wait a minute. I don't want to go into the courtyard just yet. I feel like I want to... There's only two classrooms? Oh, but there's another floor. But still... What, well, for the, what elementary school has multiple floors? Okay, that solves that problem. That solves me having to make a decision on where to go first. Oh, wait a minute, didn't we walk in from that direction? No, I came in from the lobby. Okay, so I guess we are going to go through the courtyard. Yeah, full length lockers. Dude, they're, they're taller than I am and I'm a grown man. Yeah, that's actually really funny. I didn't even think about that. Whoops. Oh, it's the courtyard. Wait. That's a big freaking courtyard. This is like where the kids have like, um, like their playground time. Oh, these things are really unsettling, I'm not going to lie. Those little, that's a little suspicious that you're fighting those things in, in the school, right? Oh, what's that? Oh, he fell down. Can I help him? He vanished. That gives me, um, LSD Dream Emulator vibes, that kind of little guy. Oh, and the bell was ringing even for him, even though he wasn't da dangerous. So it's just, maybe that's a hint that it just, it's not just for danger, it's for like otherworldly creatures in general. Wooden floors. Yeah, that's also unusual. I agree. Okay, um. Gonna have to go out into the courtyard. We confirm that door was locked, right? Okay. Damned even. And these these enemies are only in the American release. In Europe and Japanese, they're teddy bear type things. Really? These feel so much creepier. Aha, I should have known. I feel like the teddy bear things would work better in like a more cartoony type game. So that actually, I, I don't know, I feel like this is more fitting, but I'm curious about what brought, brought around that change. Because usually, if it were like a censorship reason, censorship is usually like more likely to be applied in the American version of a game. A friend in need. I read that. Dang, all these doors are locked. I'll lead back out to the court here. Oh, can I unlock this from this side? <laughs> oh, this one's unlocked. Okay, I'm just gonna... Kick him while he's down! Wonder if this is one of those games where in Japan it's set in Japan, but in American release it's set in America. Um, it seems like it's supposed to be an American style town, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, there's nothing in here. There's gotta be something in here. That enemy was in here. Really, he was guarding something. Extra double sure I'm not missing anything.
You'd have these urinals up so high because because I don't think this was actually a elementary school. I think that's just a cover up. I think that's the real secret going on here. Nobody in this one. So I can't open these stalls. Alright, that's that side. Actually, this is the teacher's side, I think. If you look at the map. Um, teacher's room. So we could give them the benefit of the doubt, and there's a chance... If we go to the classroom side. Oh no, there aren't any bathrooms over there. Never mind. Benefit of the doubt retracted. Alright, so this just leads back here. Um, okay. It's probably the safest way to get to the other side. Use the pipe on the kids. You can't just call them the kids. Also, the courtyard seems a lot larger on the map. Oh, what's this? Golden sun. Doesn't look very golden or sunny. I'm assuming you can't open this until you get the two. The hands are stopped at ten. Left. Okay, well, it's gonna get it. <laughs> uh, I always want to do that to get to my item screen because I think that's a difference in Resident Evil is that you would hit the triangle button to go to your item screen, and this one that's the map button. So uh, that's why I keep instinctively hitting the wrong button. He hurt me, and now there's another one coming. Well. Apparently I should have shouldn't have sw switched to that. Can I get away from him now? Right, I'm just gonna stick with my handgun. I mean I have all the bullets in the world right now. Not like we Well actually I don't even need to like Let me see, is there Okay that's blocked off. Uh, okay, so all I need to do now is like go up the stairs. Does this floor? Let me look at it one more time. This seems like we checked out this floor entirely. Yep, yep, yep. We we can't check those classrooms yet because that part's blocked off. Um, but aside from that, time to go up. The stab move? Would the stab move have like knocked him down? Because I thought the heavy hit would have stunned him. But that didn't seem to do the trick. Oh, you could change the camera. Up and hold hold forward and heavy at the same time. It's not it's not doing a stab. Are you sure that's something that you're actually able to do? Maybe not with this weapon. There's a door by the bathroom. Um Uh, well, I think we went in there already, didn't we? And there was nothing in there. Yeah, we checked out the teachers' rooms. Or did we? Didn't we? 
Maybe I didn't. Maybe I missed that somehow. Okay, let me um go back down and check those out. For some reason, I thought I had already checked. Um. Okay, so it's all the way at the end. I mean, if you need them to be there in order for me to even try to attempt it, I feel like that's not going to be a good idea because I, I don't even know how to do it. Yeah, it's... Okay. It's a hit confirm. Lab equipment. Nothing helpful. Oh, distilled water, no reason to take it. What do you mean, water is always good to have? I do not like the sounds I'm hearing in this room. Chemical. Chemical X. It doesn't even tell you what, uh... Type of chemical, it's just chemicals. I already know some's gonna... Like when I... Oh wait. I thought for sure it was gonna make me turn around to leave and then something was gonna show up. I don't know, I actually don't remember any of the bosses except for the last boss. The version of the last boss that I fought, anyways. Statue of an old man's hand. The fist shut tight as if never to let go. I'll pour the chemicals on it, that will solve it. This is the future, right? The future is chemicals! It worked. The future is chemicals. YouTube looks different, Kiko, so you noticed the same thing, right? Like a bunch of the icons changed for no reason. <laughs> Just the melted remains of a statue of a hand. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, he, you're the one who melted it. Why would he even consider it to be a thing to worry about? Nothing in this drawer, huh? Chop the fingies off. What if you could get like... breading and like... like frying oil and stuff and you can turn them into chicken fingers. That'd be pretty epic. I will give these to my daughter when I find her. She loves chicken fingers. <laughs> Statue of hand. I mean, we already took care of that. Okay. So now... I guess we'll go to the library reserve. The eyewash station, good point. Uh-oh. You know, these guys aren't that hard to avoid, honestly. If we want to save ammo, we'll turn around them. Unless they, like, gang up on me or something. Then we might have some trouble. Okay, they're in here. Supposedly. It might just be that little guy, though, who doesn't do anything. He just trips. No useful books here. Ethan, the type to ban a book. Uh, 
Okay, so that leads to the library reserve, so I'm gonna- I'll, I'll try that door after we check this room out more. Yep. Oh, it's a bunch of little guys now. Look at them tripping. They don't know any better. They sound like dogs. They kind of yip yap a little, don't they? Double S is this game super scary. It's pretty unsettling for sure. Um, I don't, I'm not seeing anything in here though. So Let's see if we can go in here. Yep. I'll try your technique one more time. It didn't let me do it. Yeah, it's not letting me do the stab thing, but at least we took care of him. Jeez. We stomped a mud hole in him. As Stone Cold Steve Austin would say. No, he'd say. Austin 316 said I just kicked your ass. I'm Stone Cold. I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's how he sounds, right? Can I lock this door? Sure can. That poster? Where's our movie poster in this school? Also, where's all the useful items? He's right, there are no useful books. Oh. Oh, this. Library. Maybe stab is only in two and three. Could be. It could be. All right. That's it. We got the sun. Now I think we need to find the other piece. It's like a moon or something. You hate the YouTube weary emoji? They like to do things a little different. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. They can't have a cross up there with the Jesus Christ being crucified. They can't have an Uzumakis. But what is this room? Why does the classroom have that? That's not something you would see in like a normal public school. Maybe like a like a Catholic school or something. A. You see, the Americans only know the first letter of the alphabet. Fun fact. The Americans only know about giraffes and elephantes. Or is that a gorilla? Might be a gorilla. The Americans can't tell the difference between an elephant and a gorilla. There's a gummy worm emoji? What the heck? If we found that book and it was a secret ending, that'd be pretty sick. Pig. They can't just... Pig. I like that though. You have the option to like hold L2 and like, you'll look up towards something that you might not be able to see. From the normal camera perspective. Nothing useful in the desk drawer. How about the other desk drawer? Wait, who's that? Hold up. Two random pictures of people, huh? I've seen where a classroom will have like all the presidents or like some just like notable figures in like science or something with like just like just two pictures. Did I hear crying? I don't have to look all that. Zoo. Is that a red panda? Oh, there's two. I don't like that. Get that. Break that. Oh, this one got me. Get off of me. You're no good. You're no good. Oh, no. The other one wasn't dead. Okay, hang on. I don't want to risk dying here. That would suck. Why do these kids have knives? Ah. It's weird, they don't even use the knife, they just fall down and like, jiggle you a bit. It's actually... 
pretty odd. Man, and I hate that when you hit them when they go for you, like, they still just get you. It doesn't, like, stop them. Not letting me kick. Kick him! Kick him, Harry! There you go. Kick him, Harry Potter! Dude, there's more than one gummy worm emoji. I'm oh. learning so much today. It's a little annoying that we're like entering these rooms with these enemies and I'm only killing them because I'm figuring, woof, that I'm uh, there's like an item or something in here that I need to get, but So far, they've just been empty rooms. Cut. Hang on. Okay, so we came from that direction. So... I guess... Unless the door is locked. It'd be best to leave out this way. I don't like the noises they make either. Um, yeah, let's just try to see if this is open. It is! Oh, I didn't get to check the door. It's okay. A game like this will never be made again. I don't know, did you see some of those haunted PS1 demo games? It won't open. Oh, it doesn't look locked though. I think I have hope for this for the next generation yet. Written in blood. A tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. Raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally, out comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? This is a lot to remember. I think I remember this too. I remember this being a really tricky puzzle and it was really satisfying when I figured it out. First off, I need to open this thing to even attempt. Ah, she broke it open. Hiko said I'm afraid for my life from the game. No, yeah, this game is a, a very unchill experience. I don't think I have an item that would open it up. It's funny, I was like focused on the puzzle. I was gonna do the puzzle, but the... Can't even get the thing open. Let's see, maybe I need to go into the other room to t trigger it or something. What, what was the other room? Locker room. No, that doesn't make sense. They're not even touching each other. How do I unlock piano that's not locked? Dang, 
I think I'm gonna have to come back to this. Maybe it'll just open up on its own eventually. You talk to me, where? Oh, he got me. He got me. Okay. Whoa. You hear that? Warning, don't forget to take all your possessions after using the lockers. Normal elementary school bulletin board, nothing in particular here. What's this, Walter? No running or playing in the locker room. But they could run and play anywhere else on campus, right? Guys, what could be making that noise? Everyone should plug in their headphones and turn it on full blast. I just get the feeling. Oh, look. Mysterious locker. Oh, it's just a cat. Uh. Hmm. Nothing inside. I'm sure that noise was nothing to be alarmed about. I don't like being orange. Huh. It was friend something was gonna try to get me. Oh well. I guess it was nothing. Ah, those guys. My worst enemies. I'm about to just take them out with the gun just to get them off my darn back for once. Oh! Oh, there's three of them! Since when was there three? There was only two before. Oh well, they're all dead now. locked but I came all this way hmm I'm gonna look at the piano room one more time because I know this is a puzzle I just I just don't know why it's not open to begin with There's not anything else in the room we can interact with Opening the piano being a problem. Okay. All right, well, where do we go next? Is there a third floor? There is a third floor. I also haven't been to the classrooms on the left side yet. Maybe I was supposed to go that way first. Ah, oh, he caught me. What a jerk. Both piano came to life like Mario 64. Glad that one didn't notice what was going on. In fact, he's still oblivious. Oh, there's another one. He notices. He still doesn't notice. I didn't want to risk it.
That piano is easily the scariest part of Mario 64. Not that that game is like meant to be scary normally. I think when you first encounter the eel and um, the water level, the dire dire docks, that's also can catch you off guard a bit. Okay, so just. Damn it, seriously? Where? Ah! Oh, he got me! I didn't have time to run. Little jerk. Right, I'm gonna try to take him out with um, my melee weapon, so I'm not using up too much. Ammo, but I feel like he's just gonna grab me. Okay, hang on. Already. Yeah, get him from between the desk. Yeah, your boy. Your boy, longer arms than you. Yeah, run away, dummy. Get out of here. Oh, he tricked me. That's messed up. I can't believe. I can't. I thought he was running. What's in this trash can? Man, so far these classrooms have not given us any, like, progression items. This next classroom better have something good in it. Or this game's going on the list. You? You are a tar. Man, all these darn classrooms are empty. They ain't got nothing in here for me. He ain't got nothing. No, you're not backseat gaming too much. Oh, there's two. Damn it. Yeah, whenever there's two, you just can't... You can't fight it with a melee weapon. It just... They'll just start ganging up on you. Apparently. Gotta pull out the old gun. Oh yeah, I guess we are still okay on ammo. The stomp definitely helps though, so it's a good thing you told me about that, because that's probably saving us at least like a bullet per... And speaking of ammo, there's even more now. There's a hand in the toilet like in Majora's Mask. I don't remember that in Majora's Mask. Ran out of ammo on my first... On first boss on my first run of this game and always worry. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean... I guess because I have that experience... <clears throat> I have that experience with... Like Resident Evil having like a finite amount of certain items that I... Usually try my best to be careful about that. Because I know some people will just like, just completely just waste ammo. Just, just spamming all over the place, like, especially if you don't know. Okay, we haven't made any progress. I mean, I guess I'll just, I have to go up the stairs. Unless this piano room is magically open. 
I'll just I'll just check since we're here. Is the piano magically open? Doesn't look like it. Okay. We're gonna have to go up to the third floor. And since we do have ammo. I'll just take this guy out. That third shot always puts him down. Um, no, I had the same thing, Futility, where you basically can softlock yourself in a way. Uh, my first time playing Resident Evil 1, I got like a certain amount through the game and I had to quit and start over as well. I was... First off, I was Chris, which is usually not a good idea if you're a first-time player. Um, and then, yeah, I had just used... I was just in a bad position. I used up, like, all of my save, all my ink ribbons, and my ammo and health was in a bad spot, and it was just bad. So I restarted as Jill, and sure enough, I managed to get through the game. There's definitely someone who's beat the game using a, only a kitchen knife. No doubt in my mind. What, the door's locked? Okay, at this point we've been in every... ...possible... Okay, so the roof is locked. We've been in all these rooms. There's nothing in any of the rooms except the piano, which obviously I would think has the other piece we need for the... Um, for the, the courtyard thing. But the piano won't open. There's a basement? Uh. You think they would have put all the stairs, um... Wait, did they put all the stairs in the same spot? No, I didn't. Did I, did I assume? Oh. That's the basement. Why is it? Why are the doors so tiny? If that's the basement, I guess we. I guess we uh, haven't been in there yet. Oh, nothing inside. How do you know? No. Yeah. See, the stairs are on the other side now, so I have to go the other side. Okay. All right. They come the right way. Yeah. Oh, because I've never been on that side. Remember, I the doors are locked. That's why I've never been over there. The hall's blocked. The only thing I could potentially do right now to if I don't, I don't think it'll actually provide any progression is I can put the sun key inside of this. Oh, whoops. I forgot they don't prompt you to actually use your item. But I don't think this is going to do anything until I get the other piece. Oh god, I overshot it. Oh! <laughs> Knew they were coming. Wait, maybe I could go up a floor across to the other side and then go down? Oh, maybe. Alright, well, we can try that. Um. Okay, so turn around. There's a lot of uh, purposeful, like, recovery time on a lot of your movements. So, like, if you want to stop running, you, you can't just immediately stop on a dime. Like, he, like, will keep running forward a bit. But I want to say that that's, like, a flaw or anything. It's just... It, it's, it's intended. You need to be careful about your movements. 
Um, yeah, you're right. I can go downstairs on the other side, so I guess we're gonna do that then. Oh, there was a little one down there. Poor little shadow creature. You don't know what's going on. Neither do I. I don't think they were supposed to be going on a field trip to this town. I think they got stranded in this town on the way to the place they were going. They come. No, another one's coming. Oh, there's another one coming. Wait, they were actually coming here on purpose to Silent Hill? I thought they were like going, uh. I assume they were on their way to the actual place. Anyways, here's another classroom we haven't checked out yet. The classrooms have been empty so far, save for like maybe health or ammo. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Nothing. These classrooms give me nothing. I also don't know what I am. Classrooms give you something. Classrooms give you nothing but enemies. Enemies for you to shoot. Oh, little guy. It's just a little guy. Where's he going? Does, does anyone know the purpose of these little things? Are, they, are you supposed to kind of draw your own conclusions? They, they don't function any, like... They don't have, like, a mechanical in-game function, right? It's just for, like, story purposes? Double O uh, facts said that earlier. I've never had a teacher or primary school who has their desk up front and centered. Um... Where would they have their desk at? I feel like that's a normal place to have a desk. We care a lot. I guess we're going to the basement. Oh, I thought we killed all you guys. Uh, so that way their desk doesn't block the whiteboard. Off to the side. Mm, oh yeah, I think you're right. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I've been to elementary school, so... Okay, I'm glad he didn't notice me. Okay, so the shadow goes are just story reasons, that's what I was... That's what I figured. It's the basement. It appears to be broken. I'll turn on the switch and enter the rust dimension. Hey, all the creepy sound effects went away. Maybe hitting that button has cured us. And we will no longer have to suffer with all the scary spookies. All my homies hate the rust dimension. Wait, is that all? Oh, did that switch open the damn piano? Of all things. It had to have done something. One exception I could think of is chem lab. Yeah. I liked how in science class you would have those giant tables instead of normal desks. It's like middle school, high school, I think you did. Um, 
Oh, I should unlock this door. Alright, if that didn't unlock the piano, then we're gonna start having some trouble here. Yeah, just saying. Wait, where are the st steps at? Oh, I was facing the wrong way. Okay. Okay, so everyone cross your fingers that that magic button in the basement somehow unlocked the piano. The very Friday the 13th type of sound effect we got going on at this particular moment. It's almost like... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Ch -ch -ch. You, know, you all know the noise. Yup, that was it. That was it. Blood on the keys, does this mean anything? Okay, uh... <laughs> It doesn't let you hit all the notes, unfortunately. Oh, you know what? The ones that don't play are either the ones you're supposed to hit or the ones you're not supposed to hit. So unfortunately, we're limited to what songs we're able to play here. Yeah, I can't even play most stuff. All right, let me let me read the thing again cuz I don't remember what any of it said. Birds without a voice. Okay, so you are hitting the ones that don't greedy pelican, so that's a G. That's why it's greedy pelican specifically. Um so you are hitting the ones that don't make noise. So the greedy pel pelican eager for the reward. White wings flailing. Um, the dove. So, G. Would the eager, the E and eager might well go as well. Well, the greedy isn't capitalized, though, so that makes me think that's not right. And there's first flew the greedy pelican. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try that first. So the G, D, oh, but raven is an R. And then there's a swan. So hang on, I think we're looking at this wrong. And then there's a white 
fucked up as far as... Because I was thinking the colors of the birds, you know, pelicans white, doves white, crows black. Um... Because that's the case... Eager would be the E though, and then the dove flying as far as it can go. Um, so the two first no two first notes are white keys, and they're far as they can go. Raven is higher than the dove, so the raven would be the farthest black note. Swan is next to another bird, so that's a white note next to another note. And then the crow would be a final black note. So, white, hang on, let's write again. White, black, white. So let's see, let's see this here. So it's silent, so. So this one's next to another, to that one maybe. So try it again. That's it. Boom! Miss your boy. Yeah, that that was the puzzle that made me really like this game. I remember. This was a pu out of everything in the game this stood out to me. I remembered this puzzle. And I was like, it's just so satisfying because you figure it out and it, ma it makes sense. The worst type of like if you don't understand a puzzle and you just solve it by brute force or you just don't get it or something when it's tricky and then you you start to like guess of okay what what could it be and then you figure it out it's like one of the most satisfying things an experience we haven't saved this whole time i'm paranoid i don't want to lose my progress what was there a place to save in the school does anyone remember Probably it would be on like the first floor, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, I think there was. Wasn't there like a save spot on the first floor? Maybe in the reception area? I want to go down and save because I... Teacher's Lounge. Yeah, I, I, um... I'd rather not have to lose my progress. That would suck. What is it with survival horror and piano puzzles? They just know, you know? Da, da, da. Wait, can I get there from this way? Did I unlock that? If I can unlock that door from this side, then we're good. Oh, okay, so it still has the red marking on it, which is weird, but now we have the, re the red arrows on it to show that we can go through it, I guess. All right, either way, we're gonna go reception. Okay, I love missing all my shots. What? Maybe I was hitting it. It looked like I was missing. Is it in here or is it in the other room? This was just an empty, yeah, this was empty. Was there actually a save in here? I don't think there is, these are just puzzles. At the front of the reception, no, those were just names of teachers. Are we sure that there was a save? Maybe in the lobby or the infirmary? No! 
You were supposed to get shot and fall down, you dummy. Don't you know how the game works? Kick him. I guess he was dead already. There we go. Take that. You think there would be a save, but we don't know where it is and it's not marked on the map. It's the one flaw that this game has so far. We don't know where to save. I'm gonna check the infirmary. Yep, there it is. Okay, now we're ready to go into the clock tower, I believe, in the courtyard. And there's still two guys out there, so we want to look out for them. Silver moon, silver bells. Oh, that's funny, Christmas off that you say I should play Fatal Frame. Because I was just talking to Fack earlier that I, I missed this somehow, but they announced that they're doing a remaster of the Fatal Frame game that Grasshopper and Suda um, worked on. That they, he actually was a writer and director on it. And the only reason I haven't played it yet is because it was originally, it was for the Wii released in Japan only. So there was just was no way to play it. Uh oh. The hands are stopped at five. Um, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, there you go. I think we need to like change the time on the clock, but I don't remember how to do that. Fuck off, man. Get your filthy hands off of me. Oh, when did it get so dark? I can't see. Holy crap. Did I turn my flashlight off? It says on. Why is my flashlight off? It's too dark to look at our map. Is it on now? Oh, I guess I turned it off. I, I My fat thumb hit the wrong button. Damn it. I should have just killed these guys. Don't shoot the guy who's on the ground, you dummy. Shoot the guy who's currently a threat. Kick! Yeah. Okay, let me take a look at this here. So. I think it needs to be a certain time for us to, uh... But how do we change the time on the clock? That's the question. Hmm. Okay, we're still doing fun on ammo. Yeah, it was 10 when we first got here. Um, I don't know if that means... You want to just come back and return, would you? I have a clock. There was, there was something about the time in the um, reception area. I'm gonna read that again and, and maybe we'll get a hint on what we're supposed to do. Okay, so this is a 10. We've already done the, 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 go the gold man's hand. We've done that. 12. This is the hint for the piano, which we've done that. Darkness brings choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. 
So it's literally just saying open the clock tower. But it's locked and we put the keys in already. Um, we don't have any other key items. It's funny, these actually aren't really hints for anything. It's just kind of like, at this time you'll be doing this thing, I guess. So if it's time to do the clock tower, there has to be a way to open, play another song. The music's really intense out here. Do you think I just go to the basement again? I thought about that, but it feels a little like... That feels like it would be kind of a random place to go, but uh... Like we have to hit the button again, maybe? Um... Yeah, sure, we could try that. And I can just shortcut my way to the uh, stairs that go up to the basement this time. something. Whoa, did you hear that? I heard like a, a beastly groan. Oh, are we like turning the heat on? Is that what that is? I honestly wasn't even thinking in my head like what is that thing is we're turning on? I didn't realize it was like a boiler at all. That makes sense. All right, here we go. We go down to the clock tower? Most clock towers you would be climbing up a ladder. All this stuff laying around here. Keep out. the prey. Uh. Where am I? <laughs> okay. Hmm, this is the first odd thing to happen to me all day. Have I been here before? I don't know, Harry. I can't answer that question for you. Whoa, that's a little weird. Huh. I don't remember this being here before. So you have been here before. <laughs> Double O said no way at this point they could have my daughter. Pick another. Damn Double O. Dude, this, the music in this game is so unsettling. Oh, I see. We're back in the same courtyard and that's why he's saying... Instead of saying the courtyard looks different, he says, Have I been here before? Okay, so now all the the, the uh, rooms are going to... We're going to want to revisit them, I think. Oh. Well, not that way, we're going to Oh, here we are. We're in Rust Town. What the? Okay, for a split second before I paused it, I feel like I saw something in front of me. I don't know if it was like an enemy or a fan. It's a fan. Okay. <laughs> the Rust Belt. I don't think Maine's in the Rust Belt. But, uh... Maybe they have their own Rust Belt. Huge fan is rotating. It, if approached carelessly, I may be sucked in. Well, uh, I 
I think I remember that happening. Can't you get killed by the fan? Like, I'm pretty sure I remember getting killed by the fan. Unless I just mandela would myself. Like, maybe you can, you can hit that to break it open. I don't think that fan's going fast enough to actually suck somebody into it, though. Alright, so let's, let's think about this here. I'm gonna go right into the storage first. No, I'm not. Wait. That was risky. I should have just took him out first, honestly, but... Crank? Crank. A headless doll stuck to the wall. I have to take pieces of a belt or something. A rubber ball! I'll take it. Oh boy. I, a rubber ball, you, you can't beat that. I could give this to my daughter when I find her. Fluorescent pink rubber ball used by children. I want to have fun too. Kerpow, kerpow. I have a rubber ball. Oh wait, you can fire while walking? Okay, this game is more advanced than Resident Evil. I should have known. I had no idea this whole time. Cheryl might like this. Every time I check my ammo, I feel like it's finally going to be like really low or something, but it's not. Okay, I have to take care of Walter real quick, and then we'll come back and we'll play some more, so... You'll just have to excuse me. Let me just set you guys up real quick. With the good stuff. Dun dun dun. Bam 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 bam. Ba dum bum. Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Very fitting Silent Hill music, right?
You're a disgrace to yourself and all those you've killed. Well, what a time for a robot to show up during the break. What a dummy. We know the perfect time to show you ads. When the it's a break screen, that'll get them good. Okay, let's get back into this. Um, where am I going? To the hall. The Hall of Champions. It's locked. Um, wait a minute. This way's locked. The other way's locked. What did we find in the storage? Oh, the rubber ball, that's right. Maybe I need to take that in the courtyard. That's a fan. Whoa. That's some music, all right. Our door is locked. 
Oh, was there a room in the top right? I never checked out. I just feel like my drink has been like almost completely untouched until I like took my break. It means I've just been too immersed into the game. Oh, you're right. You're right. You are right. I think I got thrown off when I took my break. Whoa. Yeah. Wait a minute. This is just a big old dead end. Uh. Ah. Alright, cool, cool. Maybe the classrooms would be more interesting in the, uh... That one locker is really bloody. Oh no, that one's also really, really bloody. It's not special anymore. Those are some enormous playing cards, holy crap. I like the size of VHS tapes. That looks like the picture of the rusty door we saw in the regular dimension. Like the three dashes. I wonder if you like take that back to the normal dimension and use it there maybe. Oh what the Oh, that was a chair. I thought that was like a weirdly shaped creature. It was just a chair. <laughs> okay. The red and the green don't really mean anything, right? It's not like Resident Evil where green means there's no items in there and red means there still are items. I assume. Okay. Cage wasn't there before. Oh, really? Here come. Yeah. <laughs> so many items. Imagine if you had a item cap in this game, you'd be in trouble. Lock the courtyard from that side. Another one, I knew it! I knew he was coming! I knew he was coming, but I missed my first shot. Ruined everything. sense that this part's locked. I'm just gonna leave this area. I don't think we need to come this way. Oh right, you can walk and shoot. Oh. I was like, why didn't he fall down on the third shot? It was like a delay. Oh well. I guess. Yep, there it is. There used to be a picture there. Hmm, somebody's been sprucing up the teacher's lounge. It looks a lot cooler now. There's even some whipped cream all over the place. What? Is this a door? If it is, there's no keyhole or even a knob. Hmm, certainly won't open. 
In this, in the rust dimension, you don't have actual keys, you have pictures of keys that you feed to the doors. Quite simple, really. Oh, they're loading something important, apparently. What do you say? Glain sank. This is just the bathroom, isn't it? The bathroom in the rust dimension. Much like the bathroom in the normal dimension, there's uh, nothing of interest going on. Really quite shrimple. Did you really just say that to me? Oh! This bathroom has stuff in it. Shotgun shells. Now I need to just find me a shotgun. Oh, there's not one in here. I wonder if I could kill him through the fence. That'd be pretty legit. Back here. Come back here, coward. Come back here. Pretty sure I could hit him. It lands upright. Ah, oh, it's not. Wow, they actually programmed it in that even though your thing's going through, they're like, there's a fence there, you can't hit him. They actually. They actually put that effort in. Alright, what did I just find in that room? Um... Oh yeah, the ammo. That's so weird, that seemed like such a special area, but it didn't really lead to much. Just the bathrooms and the ammo. Wait a minute, how do I go back? Uh oh. What they do when they're not aggro, they just walk around in circles. Making weird noises. Huh. The bathroom teleports you between floors? Oh, I didn't even realize. So... Wow. Oh, banana. Uh, sir? Body. Why would somebody... I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Leonard Ryan, the monster lurks. What's that supposed to be? <gasps> Shotgun! It's gonna come to life now that I picked it up. Or not? The creatures have not seen a human in years. Wait, what, what made you laugh so hard? Harry's like one of the most confused horror protagonists ever. Every single thing, he's just completely baffled. Oh, the sir. You, you got what I was referencing? I'm glad somebody actually caught that, because that was just me being... Usually it's just me referencing things for my own sake. For the fact that you actually, uh, about that. 
<laughs> That's perfect that that happened. Oh, stay away from me. You're just a little pest. Roaches are pretty slow, thankfully. <laughs> Just three blue telephones with no... Well, telephone receivers. Oh, that one has a phone on it. Can't use the phone. How do you know? You don't know how this dimension works, Harry. We're teleporting between floors, for goodness sake. Well, what did I tell you? He didn't even question it. He was like... Huh. Who could that be? Hello? Who is this? Daddy? Well? Help me! Daddy? Where are you? Cheryl! Who is this? Sir? Hmm. Must have been of a wrong number. <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay, well. That's the first we've actually heard her voice this entire game, I think. Can we unlock this? Yeah, it's your boy unlock. I like how a lot of this game, like, sh opening shortcuts, all it involves is just unlocking it from the other side. Like, most of the time. Stairs. I wonder if they made the floors wooden in the uh, normal school dimension just to more heavily contrast the metal floors in the rust dimension. I'm gonna go for it. Then it went for it. Why did I even bother going for it? It never works. If it works. I'm just gonna take one of these. My first. First aid kit. But it certainly won't be my last. Looked like there was a ladder in there, though. I feel like I need to go back in there and take that ladder out. Oh yeah, there's one in here too. Oh no, it's just a shelf. It's weird barren shelves. I can hear the mad piano from Mario 64 right now. He's lurking around somewhere. Should have used tile in the fog dimension. I think I want to just go more upstairs, I think. For now, I could go to the basement, but... Why rush them? Yes, All right, I'm gonna take this guy out. I'm gonna take this guy out, and he's not gonna know what hit him. Oh, there's a freaking... Okay, I was going to, and then... Plans change sometimes, okay? Wait, have I been in the locker room in the music room yet? I don't know if I have. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. Remember this? Remember what it was last time? It's just a cat, guys. Come on. Just a cat, we already know this. Nothing inside. 
<laughs> this time it wasn't even a cat, it was a nothing. I'll put the ball in there. Or not. <gasps> oh my god. Well, key. Library reserved. Body slumped over. This is always empty. Oh yeah, I need to go check out the the music room. I haven't done that yet. I was hoping I was on the right side to avoid him. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, it was locked anyways. Oh, and this is locked anyways as well. Well, isn't there egg on my face? Well, we have the key to the library reserve. This we're going. This way. I ran right into him. Oh, he actually used his knife for once. Did it do good damage? Nope. Him gently holding you and wiggling you does more damage. Okay, we just want to go right into that door. No! The roach must have got me. What a horrible crunching noise. It did. What? I don't know. Oh. I'm sick of you and your knives and your jiggling. Oh no, you jiggle. Not the jiggling. Anything but the jiggling. Okay. Oh, right in front of me. Half expected that door to be locked. We'll work our way to the library reserve. Unless, yeah, I was about to say, unless these doors are all locked. I like how most of the doors are locked in the rest dimension, so that way you don't actually have to spend time checking out every single door. Hmm. Now this place has much more useful books. What's this? Monster Lurks. Chapter 3 Manifestation of Delusions. Poltergeists are among these negative emotions like fear, worry, or stress manifest into external energy with physical effects. So, this is telling you literally about what the enemies in this game are, because I've heard of that before that the enemies resemble like, a f like the fears or anxieties of. The, the protagonist, right? Nightmares have in some cases been shown to trigger them. However, such phenomena do not appear to happen to just anyone. Well, it's not clear why adolescents, especially girls, are prone to such occurrences. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense to me. Open the door before it even loaded the uh, screen back in. Is that a safe spot? Hearing this, the hunter armed with a bow and arrow said, I will kill the lizard. But upon meeting his opponent, who he held back, taunting, Who's afraid of a reptile? At this, the furious lizard hissed, I'll swallow you up in a single bite. Then the huge creature attacked, jaws opened wide. This was what the man wanted. Calmly drawing his bow, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. Oh, he tricked the lizard. Person sounded like he was suicidal. Effortless, effortless, blah, blah, blah. effortlessly, the arrow flew, piercing the defenseless maw, and the lizard fell down dead. Is that giving us a tip on how to fight the boss we're about to fight? It's from an old fairy tale. I remember reading it as a kid. That's why it's here, Harry, because this is all just part of your... Imagination. Harry's too dumb for that sort of stuff. 
Might be onto something there. Alright, can, can we now from here enter into the other hallway? Yup. Sure can. It's unlocked now. Is that these? It's locked. Also locked. This is how you say dead end. So I guess we want to go back because we haven't been to the third floor yet. So let's uh, head back and go up to the third floor. Let's see. Um, we just go. Da, da, da. Okay. That was an especially squeaky door. Oh, this place looks really different. There's a valve there. I get the feeling this might be the stage for a boss fight, so let's... Alright. There's a drainage valve, nothing unusual. Um... Uh-huh. Okay, we're pretty healthy at the moment. Can I use the drainage valve? Hmm... Oh, it's that same symbol up there. I don't see anything else up here. Maybe when you try to leave, something will happen. Where's the blood over here? Oh, wait. Who's this? Hanging key, it's just out of reach. Well, maybe if I drop my bottle. Maybe if I. my steel pipe. Um. Maybe I need to find a liquid to put down there. Maybe I can find it in the basement? Nothing special. I gotta put the ball into one of these holes, I figure. Oh! Okay. Oh, we wanted to stop that so that when we turn the water on... It would make the key rise up. The rubber ball must be stuck in there tight or else it would have floated up easily. Water displacement puzzle. Crows are smart enough to solve those. One fact. He went down the drain. Uh oh. Um. All right. What's beneath this area? Uh. Well. How long would it take a crow to beat this game? Probably not that long, they're pretty smart. They'll figure it out quickly. Well, it must have drained to somewhere. Oh. For a second I thought there was a cutscene loading. Maybe I should just go to the basement now. Because I haven't been to the basement yet. I don't think.
If I'm going the wrong way, feel free to let me know, but I'm just gonna head to the basement. Uh, otherwise. Oh, there's this room. That, uh, that way. Oh, the courtyard? Okay, courtyard's right this way. I didn't realize the drain would lead to the courtyard, but... There must be a drain around here somewhere I didn't notice before. Oh! Oh, that's a tree. Um. Ah! There we go. And then... Oh, it's a classroom key! I guess we're not going to the basement quite yet. Let's see here. E for which classroom? We've been into those classrooms. So it must be the second floor. No, we've been in those classrooms. Ah, I see. It's the top right classroom. We haven't been in there yet. So that must be the one. Hey, Joe. A... A porn Claude Axian? Is that a... Is that the name of like a, a NASC car driver or something? But said like a like a spooky ghost. Does it no annoy you guys that I use my map constantly? Like I'm just always looking back at the map. I just don't have a good um. I'm not very good at keeping a mental image in my head. Oh no, shoot the one in front of you, dummy! Dummy! dummy. Oh great. Get out of my way! They must die though. <sighs> okay, no. maybe on the way back I'll get him. Damn it. I do wish sometimes you had a little bit more control about who you were aiming at, because sometimes you aim at the guy who's farther away instead of the one that's right in front of you. Alright, let's see what's so special about this classroom. Oh, there's enemies in here, first of all. Oh great, there's a bunch. Oh come on! Shoot him, shoot him! <sighs> oh man, that one got back up too. What's my health like? Damn it. I'm just gonna use this to be safe. Get out of here, you dumb little. Okay. I heard the bell ringing still, so I had to be safe. They were just. Huh. Wait a, wait a minute. We've already been in the other classroom. Why did why did we go through the trouble of unlocking this classroom if there was seemingly nothing in here? None of these lockers open. None of these guys have anything. The heck? Damned. I'm legitimately uh, confused. Yeah, 
the the radio turning off right there. Let's me. But what what? Why did we go through all that trouble to get that key to unlock this? Unless there's another classroom. No. Okay, we've been in all those classrooms. Yeah, we've been in all the classrooms. What the heck? That's all that key was for? There wasn't even an item in here. I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm on the second floor, but what I'm trying to say is... I... We did all that stuff to get that key to unlock this room and it was just three enemies. And I didn't gain anything from coming in here. Now all I can think of is just to go to the basement, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in the basement. I don't. Okay. Go out the door in the other classroom. Are you talking about what I've done already? Because we were already in that classroom before. Unless we weren't? Is it that it was blocked off in the rust dimension? So we weren't able to access the basement until just now? Is that what's going on? I'm, I'm assuming I'm going the right way. We haven't been to the basement yet. Save? Uh, where would I save? Doctor. Doctor. Amp? Ampule? What the heck does that do? Relieve pain to recover stamina to high. Oh, I didn't know there was a stamina. Well, do I have to go all the way back to the receptionist? Because I'd rather not go all the way back there just to save. Let me look at the map here. Oh, you know what? If I can unlock the door right there, actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Oh, but the I can unlock the door, though. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Let me see. That door is locked. I have to go from here. Ah no, that's that's too much of a pain in the ass. If it's that important, then they would put a safe spot before whatever is about to happen, so. No, it's not right there. You have to go all the way to the reception desk, don't you? See, I can't. I can't leave from the first floor, so I can't just go right to the reception desk. I have to go higher. And then from here, I have to like cut through, go all the way to the other side, to the other stairs. And then go down those other stairs. And then from here, I have to come all the way back down to the receptionist. Like, that's just way too much. I can leave from floor one. Are you sure? I was pretty sure I couldn't. Oh, I just tried to open that. What the heck? I swear I just tried to open that. What the hell? I'm so confused. And it was the infirmary actually that had the safe spot now that I remember.
I guess I must have. The light went off. I'm like, I can't turn it back on. The game did that on purpose. Well, maybe I shouldn't have saved. Oh. I was about to say, I thought that that was like for dramatic effect. Um, okay. Okay, now we'll go to the basement. The way we access the safe spot there, there's actually a good place to put it. All right. Imagine if I went through the right door first. Turn valve left, turn valve right. It was already open, wasn't it? I should have just walked through. I feel like there was nothing blocking me the first time. Yeah, because you, you, it's hard to tell um, how much like each um, turnstile has or whatever. Okay, now I can't even see what happened. There we go. I think I just put it back to how it was though. I swear that it was already open to start with. Oh, a cutscene? Is that the Dark Soul Flame? Did we light the torch? Yo, I forgot about this. Holy crap, it's like a big old dino. Da -da 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 dinosaur. I don't have a map for this place. He says it so calmly, like, dude, there's a giant monster in front of us. So far, so good. All right, the puzzle. I mean, he's bleeding. When I see blood, I think, oh, it's working. All right. What the hell? He didn't open his mouth at all. He just headbutted me. What kind of nonsense is this? What the? He's just gonna head. He's just... okay. Well, forget that. We're just gonna go back to what we were doing. The only way to be able to shoot his mouth. When it was open is if I am in front of him. So not like I can Whoops. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Now he does it when I wasn't ready. Two shotgun blasts. Oh my god. The haunting noises. Oh, the, his screams like transition into the like weather alarms.
Who's that? Um. Okay. Goodbye, lady. Who just showed up. Huh? What was that? What? Who in the hell was that? She was kind of hot. That's like the way that he's <laughs> the way that he said it. That's what it sounded like. Who's that? Boiler room. What's going on here? Hey, we woke up in the in the unrusted world, and there's a big old key down there. That's an enormous key. K Commissioner Gordon oh. key. We were just imagining it the whole time, really. The wedding bells are ringing. Alright, I think I'm gonna save and then we'll, uh, this is probably a good place to save it and call it a night. Church bell, maybe? Who's ringing the bell? So that our next destination would probably be the church. I noticed that. What do you guys think? Did we make some good progress today? Am I doing a good job? You guys have certainly, you know, helped out as well too. When I'm occasionally uh, not going the right way. First area done. What is there, like three areas total? Maybe four? Unlocked? When was that locked to begin with? I'm gonna go ahead and save at the, uh... So, I'm not going to be able to stream tomorrow, probably, because I have to do this uh, group project thing, or I'm going to have to like, meet up for this group project thing or something, so... Um, so tomorrow, no, but probably the next day we'll continue this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably keep on playing this. So that's going to be it for tonight. Thanks everyone for joining.